G'day everyone and welcome back to another Catch Up with Kiralee. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kiralee and on this channel we talk about all things cosplay, costuming and sewing related. And today, as per the title of this video, we're talking about falsies. That's right, false eyelashes or rather magnetic eyelashes. I love false eyelashes. I am not very good at makeup, like I have got better over the years, but realistically makeup and I have never been friends. So when I figured out that falsies are a good thing and not to be something to be afraid of, I, whew, my world was changed. Especially for cosplay because if you have falsies on it just elevates the look of your character so so much especially if you're doing a female presenting character and also if you are ever going to be on stage whether that is hosting or being in a competition or just showing off your outfit or even for photographers having falsies just make your eyes look bigger you look more awake and it just reads so so much better However, I am a mere mortal and normal falsies are very, very difficult for me to put on my face. I have tried multiple times with multiple different types of glues and it does not work for my brain and my makeup skill level. It's just not a fun experience and I remember the first time that I tried it took me two hours and I managed to glue my eyelid shut. So a few years ago I found magnetic eyelashes and hence why there is today's video because I feel it is about time that I impart my passion for magnetic eyelashes to you all. Which nicely brings me to today's sponsor which is Lashable. Now they have not paid me to say any of this, it is just they gave me the products free of charge which included three different types of lashes and also two different types of eyeliner for me to review and give you my honest opinion. And you all know that I give my honest opinion. <laughs> And as I mentioned before, I'm not new to Magnetic Lashes. So this will be the fourth brand that I have used. So I know kind of what I'm doing now. Now it's time for me to throw back to past me so that I can show you how I put these bad boys on. All right, so here I am without any kind of falsies on my face yet, and I have my basic makeup on. The first thing that we need to do is grab our lashes and some scissors. So for the purpose of today's video, the lashes that I am going to be using from Lashable is the bombshell. You can't see it because of the reflection, but there it is. Ooh, and it has a magnetic case. Ooh, so much fun. This is what they look like, aren't they? Super pretty. So the reason why we trim lashes is so that they fit your eyes better because not everyone has really, really large eyes. And in fact, I've been told that I have small features. Thanks. So the cool thing about these lashes is that there are 12 micro magnets on the lash, which is awesome. Previously, pretty much most of the lashes that I've used had have like five or six magnets on them, which means that I have to trim them quite heavily. And, oh, you know, you want to get close to the magnets because then you're going to have a really good hold at the corners, which is where the lashes always flick up. So you have to get them close to a magnet. With having 12 micro magnets, it means that I can really trim them to the right length. So that is awesome. Now I have heard from multiple people that you are meant to trim from the outside inwards. I like my lashes big so I tend to trim from the inside out <laughs> unless I am going for a more natural look but if I'm putting on falsies and it's for cosplay who wants natural? So let's peel you off first and foremost. So you can see there the 12 micro magnets. These particular lashes don't have the most like distinctive inside and outside. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually go ahead and trim off, I think one magnet from each side. I normally have to clip off one big magnet 
and they're like a little bit small so I'm going to try it just clipping off two magnets and then from there it should be the right size for my eyelid. If not I'll trim off and have three and then I will definitely be fine. So I just get my scissors, trim one from the inside so I'm butting it up right against the magnet. Okay, trim. And I'll trim the other side too. Because like I said, I want the big lashes. There we are. So now, this is my left lash. That is what we have. So we've gone from this size to this size. Not much difference, but enough to make a bit of a difference. So I'm going to trim this side and then we'll move on to the next part. So now I have my lashes trimmed. So I've just taken off two of the micro magnets and they're looking to be about the right size. Now, the next thing to talk about is the liner. So Lashable provided me two different types of liners, the black and the clear. Now I've never used the clear before because I generally like using a black eyeliner. So this just doubles up as that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the black eyeliner because it's also going to show up more on camera than the, you know, invisible one. But this is very good if you don't want to have like a very defined eyeliner look or if you're going right down into like the corner bits of your eye or outside or whatever and you don't want the black eyeliner to be that noticeable there. That is also an option. This is what the magnetic eyeliner looks like. It's just a little tube and it is a screw top and you pull it out and there it is. Just like regular eyeliner. And as we've established, I'm terrible at makeup. So off camera, I'm gonna quickly go and apply my first layer of this. All right, so I've done the first layer of the magnetic eyeliner. It's not perfect. Like I said, makeup is not necessarily my strong suit when it comes to cosplay, but I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to go in and do a second layer. Now, the reason why I do a second coat is because if there's any, whoops, <laughs> if there's any points that I have missed, it means it's going to be covered in the second coat. And when it comes to magnetic eyeliner, just with past experience, I have found the more you have on, the better the hold. So a second coat is usually what you need just to make sure it sticks on for all the day. All right, so the second layer is now on. It is now dry, which is what you want, unlike normal falsies where you're like trying to work out that perfect balance of like, is it too wet? Is it completely dry? I need that tackiness, which is there for about 10 seconds only. I hate it, I hate it. That's why I love magnetic eyelashes. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have the moment of truth. Let's see if I've cut enough off of the lashes and see if they're gonna stick to my eyelids. <laughs> now, because this is for education purposes, I'm going to try my hardest to put the lashes on whilst being on camera. And I'm going to use my viewfinder as my mirror. Oh, I really hope this works. Alrighty then, let's give this a crack. I realise that I open up my mouth whenever I'm putting my falsies on. Yeah. You literally... There we go. Not too shabby. And you can move them around a little bit. But ba bam. Done. All right, I might try the other one and I'll check them out in the the actual mirror and just see if they're like falling off my face. And here's the finished look. So now let's talk about what are my thoughts on these lashes. In short, I love them. I simply adore the micro magnets. It just means that I can get such a close cut to what I need lengthwise for my lashes. 
The lashes are also incredibly light. I can't even really feel them on my face, which is so good. Imagine going to a convention all day and forgetting that you're wearing falsies, but in every photo, you're looking amazing. And the eyeliner is pretty straightforward to put on just like any other liquid eyeliner. But yes, definitely do the two coats, goes a long way. But these bad boys, they're not moving. It's great. So Lashable, thank you so much for providing me with the three different eyelash looks. I'm going to insert some clips here so you can see all three up close. Aren't they gorgeous? And also thank you for providing the two different types of eyeliner. I will certainly use the eyeliner that's clear in the future, but that can be for another video. If you too would like your own Lashable Lashes, then I've linked their website in the description below. Do check them out, enjoy, peruse, and just remember, you buy one set of eyelashes and they can do you for a long, long time for many, many different types of cosplay. And you will look amazing in all of your photos. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. In the comments below, tell me, have you used magnetic eyelashes and what are your thoughts on it? Also, are you now tempted to wear magnetic eyelashes or wear them more as we go forward? Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.